Hello and welcome to another episode of A Few Minutes with Marvin. I inspire those who aspire to make positive changes in their lives. And in this video I have a really important message for your soul, um, which is who we truly are. We are eternal spiritual beings having a temporary human experience. Um, but that is not who we are. We are not these temporary human experiences. And to be honest with you, it hasn't been temporary at all. <laughs> many, many of us have been um, recycled into a body um, for who knows how long. Um, and I've come to realize that there's a reason for that. Um, we've been taught as spiritual people to really embrace that, you know, our souls are choosing to embody, to come back and reincarnate so they can experience things. Um, and if they didn't experience in a previous life, then they're bound by karma or, or whatever other force you may believe in to have to do it again, to repeat that same scenario until they get it right and they get the experience and they learn the experience and they can move on. Uh, But has it occurred to, to anybody <laughs> that um, we really haven't moved on and that we keep coming back to the same uh, matrix? Call it a matrix. Why not? For who knows how long. And why is that? Uh, are we, is our soul consciously choosing to keep coming back to have these experiences? And again, we're not labeling them good or bad. They're just experiences. But I'd like to enlighten you to what I've been enlightened to uh, recently. And it really resonates with me. And I feel that it's now my, my mission. It's real. My real sole mission now is to bring this message to everybody so that anybody that resonates with it can start aligning themselves. Um, because... What I've realized and what my soul has told me now is that we are slaves. We are not choosing to reincarnate. Our souls are not choosing to reincarnate. They don't know that they're being reincarnated. There's a force out there that anytime this physical body ceases or passes, our souls have been reconditioned just like we are in this, this physical to want to reincarnate, to get it right. Um, when in essence, that's still um, duality. That's that's ego, you know, to want to get it right, get it right. When we're already perfect as we are, as the souls that we are. And we've been told and led to believe, I have, I certainly bought into it. And I, to a certain degree, I, I'm not, uh, saying that it's not true, but it doesn't resonate for me anymore. We, we've been conditioned to believe that, you know, our souls want, want to have these experiences, so we're meant to keep coming back until we get them right. And the, the, the reality is that, that our souls are being deceived and have been deceived and being kept prisoner here um, because this earth, this earth that we're in now is actually hell. Uh, Satan is the god of hell. Um, so I'm not getting religious. It's just there's just a knowingness about it in my heart and soul. My soul's talking to me now and telling me that, yeah, every time that this body ceases, our souls are tricked into coming back into another body. And the reason for that is because Satan or this energy needs our souls so like that movie the matrix we're batteries we're energy and we keep getting recycled right 
because that keeps us here. That keeps us negative. That keeps us in, in limiting beliefs. That keeps us giving that power. And I'm shining light towards that. I have no ill will, but I realize it and I see it. So here's what I'm going to, this is what I'm doing. It doesn't have to be what you're doing, but this is what I'm doing because this is my last time here being recycled as a battery. I, I, I choose not to reincarnate after this body ceases this time because we are beings of free will and free will is going to get us out of here and free will is going to get us all out of here collectively if we all do this one simple thing and it also free Mother Gaia, the Earth, who has been here and has been recycled forever as this Earth. Not that she's complaining, but it's time for her to go home. It's time for all of us to go back to source, to the yod heh vod or Yahweh, as most uh, call it, um, Adonai, that, that we've uh, derived from as one. And there's nothing scary about that. That's the most beautiful thing out there. There's no fear. This body has fear. We've been conditioned to have fear. If you're afraid of death, death is only the beginning Unfortunately, it's been turned against us because death really, you know, was, was enslavement to, to all of us. Um, the Ascended Master Jesus Christ figured it out on that cross. He figured out that he needed to intend not to be recycled, right? And in his death, he intended not to come back as a mortal human being. He ascended right? Like all the ascended masters ascended. But Jesus Christ was special in a way because he was able to come back or that soul was able to come back into a physical form here to say, look, Satan, devil, whatever energy that's entrapping these souls, I chose to get out, but I can also choose, choose to come in and help free everyone else. And that's what he did in those 40 days. And then he reascended. And we can do that too. And that's what I intend to do. So there's um, three words that are very powerful in this whole situation. And they are, I do not consent. Four words, sorry. I'm not using the contraction of don't. I do not consent. So I do not consent to be recycled, to re, re, uh, reincarnated after this physical being dies and passes on. My soul chooses to ascend to Adonai, to Yahweh, uh, to yod heh vod -Heh. And again, this is my truth, but I know that there are others that are going to resonate for this, and this is my message to bring to you. So let's hold love and light and peace towards this, but know that we are not this, and we are not to come back into this this life again. That's not what our mission is. It really isn't. Our mission is to see the truth, do not consent to coming back as a reincarnated body, but to go back to our source, our creator. But here's a beautiful part of that, because our soul mission doesn't end there. Now, we, like the other ascended masters before us, can now hold love and light towards this earth so that more of us come into our true soul mission in this now moment and that is to collectively ascend you know out of this matrix out of this world out of this um, cycle that we've been uh, enslaved in and bring Mother Gaia back home and then this earth will collapse just as it says in Revelations maybe not like all those you know bells and whistles because you know, my truth is that the Bible has been infiltrated as well. So I hope this message resonates with whomever it's meant to resonate with. I hold no expectations that it will or that it won't because I know my truth and the people that, that know their truths will, will soon wake up and our souls will all align and will hold loving space towards the rest of the, the beautiful living souls here so that they can wake up snap out of it and when this body ceases and they're given that choice make the choice to ascend back to our source 
not get recycled and giving power to this matrix. It needs to collapse once and for all. And I'm not saying that it's happening now. There's no timeline. Time does not exist. In our minds, it could be 10 years. In our minds, it could be 100 years. Some of us will be here for it. Some of us will already have ascended and continue to hold loving space outside of this matrix for everybody because we all need to do this together. But there are some that won't ever see it, and that's fine. I hold on nothing but unconditional love for them, and we all need to shine just light and love on that. No judgment. That doesn't exist outside of here. None of it. Judgment, fear, worry, doubt, anger, um, pessimism. That doesn't exist out of this outside of this matrix. So I choose not to experience any of that anymore, and I don't right now. And I can't wait till I ascend. But and then before I do that, I need to help wake up others so that we can do it collectively and really, really get this ball rolling <laughs> in the right direction. It's been in the wrong direction for way too long. We don't even know how long. So it's our time, folks. Wake up. Wake your soul up. It's time to do our our, our purpose, our, our divine, benevolent, eternal soul mission. The time is now. And again, time is an illusion, so now doesn't really mean anything. It's always now. So I hope this message finds you well and good health. Stay positive. Just project love. That's it. That's all we're here to do. Project love, but hold our sovereignty. Stand in our truths and believe what we believe. And when our time comes for this body to, to go back to the earth and our souls to move on, make sure that your soul knows not to consent to coming back to reincarnation. That is the message of this video. I know it's a deep one. But it's my truth, and if it's your truth, please leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Let's get together consciously. We're powerful beings, powerful souls, but we've been enslaved. Now it's time to wake, wake up to the truth and choose not to be enslaved anymore. Let's go together. Let's go back to God. Have a blessed and amazing day. I love you all. And for those of you who have resonated with this message, um, please help me share this message. I know it's, it's a deep subject and deep topic for many people, but that's our job is to, to bring this message to all the souls, right? Not, not these physical beings that, that have been enslaved, but the souls that have been enslaved. It's, it's our mission. If you're resonating with this message right now, we must, you know, get together in the, in, the, in the ethereal as our souls, collectively, all knowing what we know, and just shine the light so that the other souls that are here that are still trapped by this matrix to wake up so they can join us, and then together we can all ascend. Isn't it beautiful? That's our mission. It's my mission. If it's yours and resonates, leave a comment, share this video, and start talking to others that, that will resonate with this. Because we, we, we need everybody together on this. We're doing this together as one. Adonai Echad. Thank you for spending a few minutes with me. I'm beyond grateful, and I receive your unconditional love. And I give you unconditional love. Have a blessed day.